JBN we keep you informed. UE Law Society faces eat of our pictures posted on Instagram. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The Mona Law Society at the University of the West Indies, UE Mona, has come under fire from at least one senior member of the law fraternity for the posting of pictures of some female law students in skimpy clothing on its Instagram social media page. The pictures were posted as a part of the Mr. and Miss Law 2019 competition, which is being held under a dancehall theme. Describing the pictures as vulgar, disrespectful and reprehensible, attorney at law Peter Champagne has withdrawn his participation in the student group's expo scheduled for next week. In a letter addressed to the president of the Law Society this week, Champagne said, By the posting of such pictures, I am left with the inescapable inference that you do not find anything objectionable about them. Our divergent views, therefore, and what I consider to be profound, cannot accommodate my participation in your expo. The Law Society subsequently removed the images. In an interview yesterday, Champagne rejected assertions that his comments were an attack on dancehall. I enjoy all genres of music, right? It is not to be interpreted as such, but there's a time and a place for everything. What is particularly offensive about it is that it is for public display. It is not a private viewing page, and it is associated with persons who would wish to join what I still consider a noble and respectable profession, the attorney said, pointing out that he has two young daughters. However, Dr. Sanjay Stanley Neal, Senior lecturer in cultural studies at the University of the West Indies was taken aback by the attorney's views expressed in the one-page letter. I'm really appalled that in Jamaica today we still have a negative response to anything related to dancehall, she said. However, I understand in a context where there's a professional orientation, for example, for lawyers, there's a certain standard that they aim to uphold, not just coming out of Jamaica, but a legacy of our British history. And I understand all of that, she said. The senior lecturer asserted that misconceptions surrounding dancehall must be challenged. The only thing I would add is that where Jamaica is concerned and where the law is concerned, we are overrun on a daily basis by the puritanical ethic that describes that anything dancehall must be vulgar, must be about lincestious behavior, must be about slackness. This is not the case, that we need to disabuse ourselves of that notion, she added. Champagne's letter was copied to Director of Public Prosecutions Paula Llewellyn and prominent attorney at law Christopher Towson, who are slated to participate in the expo. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.